Hey everybody, this is Drew with Acoustic Collectibles. Welcome back to a brand new video. <clears throat> Houston show, in there. Gonna go see what they have. Uh, stay tuned and enjoy. Got a few people to talk to. It's gonna be an exciting episode. So that was sweet. Hello, everyone. We're here with uh, Chris Proper with uh, Precious Commodities out of Austin, sure. Texas. Uh, we're here at the Houston show, just talking to him, just looking at his cases, interviewing him, seeing how uh, how he got into the space and why he's in coins. I started collecting bullion, basically. Uh, I always liked coins since I was young, but never really study them like I should have if I would have known better and I could go back I would do it all differently but now that I'm here you know bullion's is obviously an easy language to learn so I learned that and then now I'm kind of learning more toned Morgans and you know numismatic stuff and things of that nature but at the end of the day bullion always sells it no matter what bullion always sells so I like I like having a nice selection of fractionals all the way up to 100 ounce bars and kilos and everything in between so we, so, we always got a lot in stock and if we don't we can get it real quick so what do you do other than coins I see that you have some uh well, some we, nice we like you know, pre and precious gemstones. minerals and gems. We do opals and we do have some high carat jewelry, you know, 18 to 24 carat gold jewelry, anything in between as well. We try not to sell stuff below 18 carat just because I'm not a strong believer in mixing a bunch of, you know, non precious metals with precious metals. I, I really like pure energy. The gold, pure energy gold is just amazing. So, and platinum as well. So, I mean. so uh, where can they find you, Chris? Uh, we have a shop in Marble Falls, Texas, and uh, we, we do a lot of the coin shows here in Texas. Not all of them, but with as many as we can get to. Um, Are you on social media? We have Precious Commodities online, uh, Instagram, Precious underscore Commodities. Uh, we have um, PreciousCommodities.com. Not much live stuff on our website, but at least we have a website up. Uh, but primarily, you can find us at the coin shows, or if you come into our coin shop, or if you check out our sales on Instagram. Absolutely. Okay. And I'm going to include your card in the video so everyone can see awesome. how they can get a hold of you. Appreciate that. Thanks, Chris. Okay. I really appreciate it. Peace. Hey guys, just finished up at the Houston show. Uh, found a few things there, but we're at the best coin shop on earth. We're at Royal Coins uh, in Houston. Uh, right in front of us, you're gonna see uh, a lot of gold eagles. Uh, what would you say, about $200,000 in gold eagles right here? But yeah, I mean, just, just the magnitude of how awesome this is. And it's pretty heavy when you actually hold it in hand, but uh, thank you guys, Blake, Luis, and uh, Hot Dog Choker over there for letting us take a look at, <laughs> at these uh, awesome eagles. Uh, it's just a surreal experience. Are 
you guys enjoying today's video so far? If you are, please hit that like button. It means a lot. It'll reach more numismatists everywhere. Uh, subscribe if you're new because you've got new videos coming out every single week. CAC videos, uh, coin videos, uh, submission stuff, uh, going to coin shows, uh, a lot of fun stuff in the works. You're not going to want to miss it. Comment your thoughts down below. What's your favorite kind of section from this video? A lot of things that are moving in together. Uh, a lot of nice coins, uh, a lot of gold, um, just a lot of cool things. But comment down below. Enjoy the rest of the video. Hey guys, just got home from uh, Royal Coins and the show. And uh, we got a lot of nice stuff for you today. We got you know a little bit of stuff from Royal Coins, a little bit of stuff from the show. But uh, let me grab the camera, show you guys a few cool coins. Uh, you're not going to want to miss this. A lot of variety and stuff that I haven't really looked at before, but uh, yeah, let me show you these. So we were at the Houston show today, uh, Indian Head Scent Galore, as you can see. Um, a few few interesting dates here. Um, you know, you kind of see, uh, you know, more common dates, 95, uh, 90, uh, I mean, 96, uh, 97. Stuff to just, you know, cheap slabs, but also pretty nice coins. You don't want to buy ugly coins for somebody. Um, you know, also got... You know, 1860, a little bit better date. Um, you also got a 61 just hanging out up here. Um, you know, common date. Um, really nice chocolate on this one. Um, another pretty uh, hard date as well. Picked up this interesting 14D. Um, got it for under gray sheet. Um, you know, not the most detail on this coin, but uh, you know, when you get a 14D uh, available, you normally want to pick that up. Um, here is an interesting one that we found. Uh, this is 1889, uh, grade AU55. But when you actually take a look at the reverse, which is kind of hard for you to show uh, show in this video, but we're going to have a picture to my right here showing you guys possibly if it's a double die reverse. I think it's an FS802. Uh, but let me know what you guys think below on this one. It's a pretty interesting piece. Probably will be going up uh, later this week. Um, but we have all these coins on our website at kushacollectibles.com. Uh, here are my three favorites. Um, of the Indian head scent uh, that we picked up just because these ones have more of like a chocolate look to them when you kind of put put them down in the light here you can see that really nice brown uh, kind of on both sides of the coin you know you, you want that kind of coin when you're buying stuff like this it's just um, a cream of the crop looking coins nothing was messed with them on them um, you know another nice chocolate one right here just I mean very thankful for all of these Indian head scents we actually bought these like I said a few minutes into the show um, and I like this copper nickel one it's pretty interesting as well has a little character to it um, I don't know a few ones that that stuck out to me um, you know also bought this really nice cap bust half uh, the reason why I bought it is because it was pretty nice original nothing really has happened to it um, and you kind of want that nice darkness to it sometimes but uh, a nice choice AU coin uh, now let's show you guys some coins uh, from Royal Coins Houston you're going to enjoy these as well Okay, here's something I got from the Blake and the gang over at Royal Coins. This is an 1885 Morgan dollar. You can kind of see that uh, green, red, and gold on there. I think it's a low MS obverse. You can kind of still see the cartwheels on the coin uh, when you flip it over. I'd say it's like a 63, 64 uh, reverse here. Uh, still a pretty nice coin. Hard to find toners that are raw that are still nice like this. Um, what else do we get here? Got a nice 1881 CC uh, Carson City. Um, it has some pretty nice luster on the coin. Um, I think it's a 63-64 grade. Pretty hard to capture here just because of the plastic. Um, but I like the reverse a lot more. I think it's a lot more problem free. I don't know. Pretty neat coin. I like messing with GSAs that have you know a better date than 82, 83, and 84. Um, here's a nice rattler that we picked up. I'd say this one has a really nice shot at 66. Um, just a really problem free cheek there. Um, blinding luster as you can see. Um, you know, I really like the coin. I'm probably just going to sell it as is, though, just because uh, 66s just aren't, you know, they're not going to have that money that involved. You know, it's only going to be like a, another 50, 100 bucks. Um, the coin that I really like today that's like probably the rarest one that we bought was this 1892cc. Um, it's graded MS63 by NGC. None of these would cack, these higher end coins, but uh, still pretty nice pieces. Um, got them uh, around gray sheet, which is pretty cool. Um, when you flip it over, that is a pretty nice die crack going all the way around uh, the, the bottom of the coin there. Um, you know, I really like this coin a lot. Um, when you're getting an opportunity to buy a Mint State 92cc, uh, you really should jump on it if it's for the right price. Um, and the last one I want to show you guys is this nice 1900S. Um, great MS65. 
pretty problem free cheek as well um, just like most Moon State 65's you'll find um, enjoy the luster on this coin as well it's not hard to sell a better date especially when it has some nice eye appeal uh, but thank you guys for taking a look at all these coins here uh, we're going to be showing you guys one more coin before this video ends uh, we actually gave our dad his first in graded Indian head scent hey guys so show you those Indian head scents show you the stuff from rural coins uh, but there's one coin in particular that we're holding back. Uh, we actually gave it to our dad, kind of his first great Indian head scent. Uh, if you guys want to follow my dad on Instagram, right here is where you're going to see him. Uh, he's going to post this one and maybe a few others as we add more to his collection. But the one we're showing off today is this nice 1864 um, L on the ribbon uh, Indian head scent, graded AU58 by PCGS. And the reason why this coin is so special is because they have the copper nickel uh, Indian head scent that was made from 1859 to 1864 that didn't have the, the, the maker's mark on, uh, on the coin. Um, and then towards the end of 1864, when they started making uh, more Indian head scents, they actually put the L or the maker's mark on the coin. And that carried out all the way through 1909. So, a uh, really special coin, uh, kind of a pricey coin. This one, like I said, was great, AU58. The reason why I like this coin so much is because it has a really nice chocolate eye appeal on the obverse here. Um, and, you know, I, I don't know, I think it's a, a nice coin. It might have a chance at CAC. Uh, when you uh, take a look at the reverse here, you're going to see a little bit of a dark spot to the right of the one cent. Uh, but still, a pretty nice coin. Hopefully, this one CACs when we send it off. But uh, very happy to add this one to my dad's collection. Uh, he's probably he's like the bedrock of us collecting things and collecting coins so um, it's been a real pleasure to give this one to him. Thank you guys for watching today's video. If you did like the video hit the like button for me, comment your thoughts down below, subscribe if you're new and uh, new episodes coming soon. Not going to want to miss them.